the uh, Ayosa, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, after a heck of a noisy uh, journey here, uh, bus and train packed from Benidorm. It's been uh, quite chilly. Uh, more or less, it, it seems calm here, but generally uh, it's been more or less blowing a gale. Uh, really for the last two days. There's the Mediterranean again. Bit of an oasis here. But I will be going into the wind shortly when I get to the beach. But look at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, an escalator. Uh, into this park. Uh, Okay, this is my first view of the beach at, uh, well, Via Ayosa. I you know, kind of uh, get, trying to get my ma tongue around Spanish pronunciation. Benidorm Island is over there. walk. Uh, my legs are still aching a bit. But uh, I think I'm walking about, well, probably less than five miles, but um, once I get past this uh, esplanade here, quite a long esplanade. That's the name of this town, if we can round it, Via Hayosa. Yeah. Still quite popular uh, walkway here. I may, may have come about a mile, possibly a bit more than a mile, from the tram station. Uh, but as I keep on going, uh, I'll uh, I think the crowds will disappear as I head to a pro uh, well, uh, in between Benidorm and uh, Via Hayosa. <laughs> now I'm hoping this, uh, this path here continues uh, all the way around the coast. And uh, that's a uh, line of hills. Uh, again, I can't remember the name. There's a watchtower at the end. And that's... Uh, I'll be going over the top of those hills. And down to La Cala Finistrat. And catch the bus back from there. So possibly another... Uh, well, maybe another... Somewhere between three or four miles. We've ups and downs now. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Okay, there's, uh, I don't know if you can point it out, I'm going to hold the camera steady enough, but that watchtower there, I'll do that on my last day. It's only about, it's about maybe a mile, mile and a half, or maybe possibly two miles from where I am. So that's a, so I'll be, there's another watchtower on the top of that hill over there, where I won't focus right in. Uh, but, um, so I'll be passing that today. There's Benidorm Island. Okay, so I'm more or less away from the crowds here. And uh, yeah, for the time being, got the place to myself. See that against the uh, prohibido. That's a favourite word in uh, in Espan Espanol. Uh, That's what I like, the sound of the surf. And uh, like I have to climb up those stairs 
So hopefully the path continues towards Bennett Rock. Okay, uh, about a 70 foot climb up from the uh, sea level. Now these are, I think, are olive trees here. I don't know how long they're going to be uh, remaining here. Because all this is under constant development. New properties are being constructed all the time. Okay, that's, a, that's the mountain that I really uh, like, Vug Campana. Yeah, so I'll have a look. I'll be seeing that once I'm away from all the uh, up, uh, town buildings. I'll be seeing that quite a lot on this, the remainder of this walk. So which way now? Who knows? I mean, kind of like a wasteland here. And uh, there's a sign there saying Prohibido. <laughs> and uh, so which way? I no idea. So uh, I'll just, uh, maybe I'll wait until uh, some walkers catch up with me. This is typical of Spain. You've got this huge apartment building, what appears to be a wasteland. And uh, I'll see if there's a way around it. in the middle of nowhere. Look at them. Huh. Accommodation for over a thousand people I should think just in that building alone. Yeah. I see these olive that olive tree there being saved from the developers. Must have been there. I bet it's been there hundreds of years. I'm away from the crowds. This is a very pleasant walk. In fact, I'm rather surprised there's no footpath signs here. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll see what's... Oh, here comes a walker. Right here. Completely surreal. Look at those. <laughs> Everything under development there. Just recently built there, see? And they constructed that uh, promenade down there new construction. Okay, so this is kind of like, as I say, surreal really, no toys about it. Fantastic place. Of course these might be the residents of the local apartments, but I haven't descended that a hundred feet or more. I'll have to climb back up again <laughs> a bit, but not too, not too long from now. But it looks like there's another one of these uh, <laughs> hidden away seafront parks right here. Fantastic place, these hidden away places. Uh, it's kind of like a seafront park. Uh, it's probably been just recently put up by the developers. And that's, uh, you see there's a four or five, maybe 500 foot at least climb up to a watchtower down there. Just had a break, uh, a break on that bench. And uh, there's a very nice little coastal park here. You can see how it's, the water is blowing a gale. Yeah, it's, let's say it's been like this for two days. The sun's shining and it's I would say around about 60, degrees, maybe high 50s to 60 degrees. But of course, with the wind, it feels actually. Uh, oh, you need you need a coat on today. Let's face it. Oops. There's a shower on the way. That wasn't forecast. I haven't bought my waterproofs. So maybe. Uh, As I say, I don't know if you can hear me, because it's, uh, I say, more or less blowing a partial gale. It comes in gusts. Look at this. Yeah, new, new development. Okay, so this is the parking area for, uh, for walking on this uh, range of hills. 
This is uh, so there'll be no problem getting. I won't get lost here. Like a, this is where the work begins. I've got some uphill climbing now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic here, though. Really, I like it. I'm glad I, I did this walk. <laughs> fantastic um, of course a lot of people know about it the locals know I'm surprised this of course most people well the vast majority come to Benidorm for the clubs and restaurants and, uh, and uh, well, drinking and partying maybe I, I dare say but this is yeah, yeah this is uh, it's fantastic yeah A graded path, uh, no rocks. No, no problem, really. Look at that coastline there. Sudden break in the gale force winds. There's a few point there to sit, sit there on that concrete slab and. Uh, that's one. Oh, yeah, I can spot some rain. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a shower up there. Yeah. So uh, I'll. Uh, well, if I get wet, I get wet. Which way? I presume. Uh, I'll follow the coastline, eh? But there's a... Uh, well, I'm not sure which way to go. I'll stop taking videos. Such, yeah, I'm so impressed by this. And of course this is a landscape totally different uh, from what you get in North Wales, which is uh, in the winter. <laughs> it's just mud, really. Mud and rain. of the uh, watchtower just uh, up ahead here let's see if I can focus in on it uh, a hidden cove where people like to get away from the crowds it looks like there is uh, access there for cars there's a road there <laughs> okay so I gotta continue up there and Hopefully reach the, the watchtower. Just go along to this lookout point here. Uh, this is a fantastic walk really. Still got some way to go. And uh, there's, there's a footpath, lower footpath down there, more of a mountain trail. So this, uh, this, this natural park here, Park K, is um, just outside Benidorm. Complete contrast. Now I can't read that because I think the one, the one, uh, there's, there's two sets of uh, languages there. I think uh, Valencia, which is the province we're in, has its own actual language. Like, I think it's similar to Spanish, but it's, I think Spain consists of, uh, is made up of several languages. Looks like they've cut down some trees here. Now it's a picture there's not a tea shop. 
equivalent of an English tea shop or cafe anywhere along here. Because I'm actually I am need, in need of, feel in need of a break now. Uh, I got that uh, last haul up to the watchtower. Don't run out of battery, I've been taking a lot of it. This is going to be a long video because it's a very enjoyable video. This kind is basically, this will be the highlight I think of the week down here. And it doesn't look as though I lose too much height here, so that's not too bad. I turned around and saw that looks like an abandoned casa. Because uh, they got all these uh, uh, kind of like a terraced construction on the hillside. And that might have been for, uh, well, is it wine or some kind of uh, nourishment in the good old days? Now, after a chilly start, after a chilly start uh, this morning, it's uh, warmed up by at least 10 degrees or maybe more. And the wind, for the time being, has died down, so it's actually now quite warm work going uphill. Okay, so uh, look at that. A series of showers in the mountains over there. And Benidorm is uh, below us. And I've got about maybe 200 feet or so of climbing left, maybe a little bit more, to the watchtower. Watchtower, maybe just over a hundred feet above me. Watch what's going on in Benidorm. And here it is, the watchtower. Some uh, information on the uh, tower, uh, circa 1530. You can put it on pause and read that, if you like. Uh, we win. Fantastic view there of Benidorm, this time from uh, the other end, from the watchtower end. You can, I can see the, I won't bother her, I can see the other watchtower just at the end of the, uh, well, well, where the mountain goes into the sea there, at the far end. Uh, okay, so that's Benidorm, and you've got this uh, natural, natural park, or Right, there's a contrast if you want to escape the, the bustle. Uh, all right, so I look for the descent path now. The walkers seem to have disappeared. Uh, look, the path looks clear enough. Um, well, it doesn't look like it's um, graded like the other footpath. So it looks like it's just a walker's footpath. So there must be a, a better descent path unless most people come up. The other way, walkers disappeared, so I think this is like a climber's footpath, a rough footpath. So what I'm gonna do to play it safe, I'm gonna reascend up to the tower and descend from the other side. people descend by this path but look at that hey, the, look at that seat there just to, to sit and meditate over the over the coastline problem descending on this path so uh, that's where I came 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 up that way uh, so this looks like uh, more like it I'm, I'm practically halfway down already from the watchtower so, uh, yeah, so this is the way people come, come up and, and descend. Uh, fist again. There's the watchtower. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. I'll, uh, all the walkers disappeared, so it looks like there's the main footpath coming up here. 
Okay, so I lost about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm actually walking away from Benidorm at the moment, but I presume this will meet up with that road I crossed earlier on. A nice little walk in itself, just going up to the watchtower from Benidorm. The descent path then goes round in almost a, well, over a complete semicircle. And that's, that's how most people ascend and descend. The, the youngsters, those who are sure-footed, can go down the way I attempted. I start uh, the path and uh, here's some information on it. Uh, again, yeah. So this is the actual official route to the, to the watchtower. There's some information. Uh, you want to pause the button. Okay, so uh, a good walk. I, uh, uh, I, well worth doing. So the, the money uh, the local government gets uh, from all the uh, residents here and the visitors, the tourist industry, I think uh, finances, look at this uh, pavement here, or sidewalk as they call it in the in the uh, states. Look at yeah, solidly constructed, very nice. If they're holding some kind of a market down here, but you can see it's, it's gone calm now. It seems to come and go, it's completely calm now. But look at all the litter. Uh, probably blowing in the gale. Yeah, so it looks like they're packing up. It must have been a Sunday market. All those pensioners are jam-packed into those that bus I took this morning. They must have been coming here to this market. Looks like one of those descent paths I took originally. It's raining by, by the way right now. You can see they're steep and somewhat slippery for the likes of me. Uh, there it is. To, uh, Official confirmation to the tower of uh, the Aguelio, I to pronounce it. All right, up there somewhere, but I took the easy way down. Here's a lesser known of the uh, Benidorm beaches. I think it's called La Cala Finistrat. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> 